three questions about the Gansu earthquake that CCP may never want to answer. A chemical plant in Shandong successively exploded, causing a loud noise. Chinese military faces challenges amidst rocket force turmoil. ChatGPT is suspected of potentially censoring topics related to China. Kim Jong-un bans Christmas amid U.S. activists' effort to spread holiday spirit. Chinese people suspect that the 6.2 magnitude earthquake in Jixishan County, Gansu Province, on December 18th, may have left much more damage than the Chinese regime reported. Commentator Mei Shanzi quoted Chinese people raising questions about the earthquake to Chinese authorities. Among them are three questions the force ruling China may never want to answer. The first question, why rush to stop the rescue? The earthquake occurred at 11.59 p.m. on December 18th, just one minute before midnight on December 19th. However, on the 20th, Gansu Province's Earthquake Relief Headquarters held a press conference and announced that the rescue work was basically completed by 3 p.m. on December 19th. The golden time for earthquake relief is within 72 hours. However, after only 15 hours, the Chinese regime almost stopped the relief activities. May quoted netizens as saying rescue forces have yet to arrive in some remote locations, which were damaged by the earthquake. Netizens added that in some places, with temperatures of minus 10 degrees Celsius, rescue forces went there to take photos, to feed the CCP's propaganda system, and couldn't do much else in a few hours. The second one, why refuse outside support? On December 19th, the Gansu authorities announced that social rescue forces from other provinces and cities were not encouraged to come and carry out relief activities independently. Netizens suspect that, like CCP officials' handling of other disasters, the Gansu authority made the announcement because they wanted to hide the truth about the damage. Covering up disasters is something the CCP is frequently accused of. Observers believe that because of wanting to protect the CCP's power, the regime hid information to avoid criticisms of their leadership capacity and block all sources of unrest among the people. The third one, what was the confirmed death toll in the earthquake? Half a day after the earthquake, officials announced that more than 100 people had died. However, three days later, the death toll only increased by 20 people. According to the local press, in Jintian village alone, 414 households with 1,836 people suffered severe damage from the earthquake. From videos leaked on the internet, it's evident that the actual casualties are much higher than the number reported by the CCP. On December 23rd, a significant explosion occurred at a chemical plant in Shandong. A video showed a massive fireball rising when the blast happened, with intense flames and thick smoke billowing into the sky although official media insists that no casualties have been found. Photos posted online show individuals suspected of being injured, undergoing physical examinations in the hospital. Some people are standing next to testing equipment, including one person wearing subtitles that read, Zebo First Aid 120. A man in a vest with the inscription, The first batch of injured has been taken to the hospital, is also visible. Mr. Lee, a resident of Zebo, said, Around 9 a.m., I was near the incident site when there was a loud noise and the ground shook. I saw the Tilu Petrochemical Company exploding, followed by a fire and a second explosion. Another resident stated, We all evacuated from our homes because it was a chemical plant explosion, and we were afraid that toxic gases in the air would exceed standards. According to employees at a company near the incident site, the explosion at the scene was significant with debris scattered everywhere. The company's glass door shattered, and the company also suspended work for employees due to concerns about a secondary explosion. The employee said, The explosion could be heard within a radius of 20 kilometers, 12.4 miles. After the first explosion, we heard two to three consecutive explosions. Three years ago, another chemical plant in Shandong experienced a fire and explosion, resulting in two deaths and four injuries. 
The accident was caused by a leak between the floating plate of the naphtha tank and the tank body, forming an explosive gas mixture with air. A spark was created by workers during rust removal and ignited the gas mixture, causing a massive explosion of the gas liquid phase inside the tank. Established in 1966, Tilu Petrochemical is a large-scale petroleum refining, chemical, and chemical fiber complex with 16,800 employees and an annual operating income of 53.2 billion yuan, or $7.5 billion. In 2023, the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, engaged in provocative actions in the Taiwan Strait and the Indo-Pacific region. But in the latter part of the year, the investigations, disappearances, or undisclosed deaths of senior military officials suggest that China's military may not be prepared for a modern, high-end conflict. This military upheaval would influence the CCP's regional strategic decisions, impacting its positioning in the Indo-Pacific and Taiwan Strait in future years. The rocket force, known for its technical complexity and capital-intensive weapon systems, has a higher risk of corruption in its leadership. Corruption charges are often politically motivated and serve as veiled operations within the CCP. Another potential cause for the internal purge is the suspicion of officials leaking intelligence to foreign entities. Former Foreign Minister Tin Gang, who disappeared months ago, is rumored to be involved in such a case. The CCP might execute individuals connected to intelligence leaks. The CCP might execute individuals connected to these intelligence leaks. Recent reports suggest that the CCP will rival the United States regarding deployed warheads by the mid-2030s. The Pentagon's 2023 report notes the CCP's expansion, with over 500 nuclear warheads on alert as of May 2023, is set to exceed 1,000 by 2030. Despite its strategic importance, the ongoing turmoil severely impacts the rocket force's combat effectiveness. The force's basic units admitted to training and readiness bottlenecks. The weakened rocket force has dampened the CCP's tone regarding the armed unification of Taiwan. China informed U.S. President Joe Biden that it had no plans to attack Taiwan shortly. Without the rocket force to lead an offensive, the CCP lacks the power to wage an all-out war against Taiwan, the United States, and regional partners for the next few years. On October 28th, pro-democracy activist Aaron Chang, known as Sydney Winnie on X, formerly Twitter, posted in Chinese, alleging that ChatGPT refused to generate an image of Tiananmen Square, where the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, suppressed students in 1989. He stated, ChatGPT's censorship is CCPized. Chang questioned, What's wrong with ChatGPT? Did CCP give money? When he inquired about the inconsistency between generating 9-11 related images and avoiding those related to the Tiananmen Square massacre, ChatGPT cited certain guidelines to manage sensitive topics in certain cultures and regions. Chang persisted, asking for the basis of decision-making to which ChatGPT responded that it lacked independent decision-making ability and followed OpenAI guidelines and training data. Using a ChatGPT 4.0 account, Daji Yuan requested images related to peace in New York and opposition to the Tiananmen tanks, but received a response citing a sensitive political context. Concerns extend beyond image generation. Alice, a media professional, noted that ChatGPT makes omissions and changes during translation. An example revealed content critical of Beijing's poverty elimination policy, which was condensed in the English translation. AI researcher Sahar Tahvili highlighted ChatGPT's lack of transparency, noting potential bias risks. She emphasized the importance of diverse input data, especially in multiple languages. The Chinese regime restricts ChatGPT access for Chinese users due to concerns about sensitive topics that may impact its accuracy in Chinese. Mr. O, oh, working for a tech company, stated that ChatGPT and Google Bard share similar guidelines for sensitive topics like Chinese politics. He suggested that human auditing, often influenced by Chinese engineers and product managers, may contribute to perceived biases. Daji Yuan contacted OpenAI for comment, but it has not responded. 
the North Korean dictator has banned Christmas with many brutal restrictions on religion. Nevertheless, some American activists still try to spread the holiday spirit to the hermit kingdom. As reported by the New York Post, activists with the human rights group North Korea Freedom Coalition recently tossed presents into the Yellow Sea, hoping they would wash up on North Korea's shores and bring Christmas cheer to Pyongyang's impoverished citizens. These presents include rice-filled bottles, a $1 bill, and a flash drive with Bible verses. Suzanne Schulte, who helms the organization, told Fox News, We should be doing everything we can to get information into North Korea, by land, by sea, and by air. She added, We must communicate to the people in power in Pyongyang that they have friends and allies in Korea and America who have only one desire for them, to share with them the benefits of a free people and give them a life of hope instead of despair. The flash drives in the bottles featured recorded messages from multiple members of Congress, members including Representatives Michael McCall, Gregory Meeks, and Senators Jim Risch and Tim Kaine describe the holiday and North Korea's connection to it. The message said, Christmas, which is celebrated all over the world on December 25th, marks the day when Jesus was born. It added, Many of your ancestors also believed in Jesus. In fact, in 1907, in Pyongyang, there were so many Christians who believed in Jesus that Pyongyang became known as a holy city. It continued, But when Kim Il-sung came to power, he wanted North Koreans to worship him as a god, and not the one true god. So he killed many Christian leaders, sent others to political prison camps, or banished them. He did all he could to kill the followers of Jesus Christ. North Korea is generally considered one of the most dangerous places on the planet to celebrate Christmas and other religious festivities.